The 2020 version of Civic Test after 20th January 2021. Easy Answers for New York. With the 2020 version of Civic Test, the USCIS officer will ask you to answer 20 out of 128 Civic Test questions. You must answer at least 12 questions correctly to pass the 2020 version of the Civic Test. All questions on the test are asked orally. There are no changes to the English portion of the naturalization test. You must demonstrate an understanding of the English language, including the ability to read, write, and speak basic English. Speaking. A USCIS officer will determine your ability to speak and understand English during your eligibility interview on Form N-400, Application for Naturalization. Reading. You must read out loud one out of three sentences correctly to demonstrate an ability to read in English. Writing. You must write one out of three sentences correctly to demonstrate an ability to write in English. What is Memorial Day? A holiday to honor soldiers who died in military service. What is Veterans Day? A holiday to honor people in the U.S. military. What is the form of government of the United States? Republic. What is the supreme law of the land? U.S. Constitution. What founding document said American colonies were free from Britain? Declaration of Independence. Name two important ideas from the Declaration of Independence and the U.S. Constitution. Liberty, self-government. What group of people was taken and sold as slaves? People from Africa. What war did the Americans fight to win independence from Britain? War for American independence. Who is one of your state's U.S. senators now? Charles E. Schumer. How many voting members are in the House of Representatives? 435. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? Name one power that is only for the federal government. Print paper money. Who does a member of the House of Representatives represent? Citizens in their district. Who elects members of the House of Representatives? Citizens for their congressional district. There are four amendments to the U.S. Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Citizens 18 and older can vote. Who can vote in federal elections, run for federal office, and serve on a jury in the United States? Citizens. The President of the United States can serve only two terms. Why? To keep the President from becoming too powerful. What is the name of the President of the United States now? Joe Biden. The words life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness are in what founding document? Declaration of Independence. What is the economic system in the United States? Capitalism. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Freed the slaves. What U.S. war ended slavery? The Civil War. The President of the United States is in charge of which branch of government? Executive branch. What part of the federal government writes laws? U.S. Congress. What is the name of the Vice President of the United States now? Kamala Harris. If the President can no longer serve, who becomes President? The Vice President. Name one power of the President. Vito's Bells. Who is the Commander-in-Chief of the U.S. Military? The President. There are 13 original states. Name five. Massachusetts, Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania.
What founding document was written in 1787? U.S. Constitution. How many senators does each state have? Two. Why does each state have two senators? Equal representation for small states. What does the president's cabinet do? Advises the president. What are two cabinet level positions? Secretary of Labor, Vice President of the United States. Why is the Electoral College important? It decides who is elected president. What is one part of the judicial branch? Supreme Court. What does the judicial branch do? Explains laws. What is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court. How are changes made to the U.S. Constitution? Amendments. What does the Bill of Rights protect? The basic rights of Americans. How many seats are on the Supreme Court? Nine. How many Supreme Court justices are usually needed to decide a case? Five. Thomas Jefferson is famous for many things. Name one. Writer of the Declaration of Independence. James Madison is famous for many things. Name one. Father of the Constitution. Who appoints federal judges? The President. The executive branch has many parts. Name one. President. How many U.S. Senators are there? 100. How long is the term for a U.S. Senator? Six years. What major event happened on September 11, 2001 in the United States? The terrorists attacked the United States. Name one U.S. military conflict after the September 11, 2001 attacks. War in Afghanistan. Name one power that is only for the states. Give a driver's license. What is the purpose of the Tenth Amendment? In the states that the powers not given to the federal government belong to the states or to the people. What are three rights of everyone living in the United States? Freedom of expression, freedom of speech, freedom of assembly. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States. How long is a term for a member of the House of Representatives? Two years. Why do U.S. representatives serve shorter terms than U.S. senators? To more closely follow public opinion. Name one leader of the women's rights movements in the 1800s. Susan B. Anthony. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. World War II. What was the two parts of the U.S. Congress? Senate and House of Representatives. Name one power of the U.S. Congress. Rights laws. Alexander Hamilton is famous for many things. Name one. First Secretary of the Treasury. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Louisiana. Some states have more representatives than other states. Why? Because of the state's population. The President of the United States is elected for how many years? Four. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. Civil War. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. S the Civil War. What are the two examples of civic participation in the United States? Vote and run for office. What is one way Americans can serve their country? Vote. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4, 1776. 
The American Revolution had many important events. Name one. Declaration of Independence. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. The nation's first motto was E Pluribus Unum. What does that mean? We all become one. There are three branches of the government. Why? Checks and balances. Name the three branches of the government. Legislative, executive, and judicial. What is Independence Day? The country's birthday. Name three national U.S. holidays. New Year's Day, Memorial Day, Labor Day. Who signs bills to become laws? The President of the United States. Who vetoes bills? The President of the United States. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there is one star for each state. The colonies came to America for many reasons. Name one. Freedom. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? American Indians. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt. Why did the United States enter World War II? Bombing of Pearl Harbor. Name one reason why the Americans declared independence from Britain. High taxes. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. Name your U.S. representative. Thomas or Susie. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Nancy Pelosi. Martin Luther King Jr. is famous for many things. Name one. Fought for civil rights. Why did the United States enter the Persian Gulf War? To force the Iraqi military from Kuwait. The Federalist Papers support the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. James Madison. Why were the Federalist Papers important? They helped people understand the U.S. Constitution. How many amendments does the U.S. Constitution have? 27. Why is the Declaration of Independence important? It says America is free from British control. Who does U.S. relatives represent? Citizens of their state. Who elects U.S. senators? Citizens from their state. Benjamin Franklin is famous for many things. Name one. U.S. diplomat. George Washington is famous for many things. Name one. Father of a country. Why is it important to pay federal taxes? Required by law. It is important for all men aged 18 through 25 to register for selective service. Name one reason why. Required by law. Why did the United States enter the Vietnam War? To stop the spread of communism. Why did the civil rights movement do? Fought to end racial discrimination. What is the rule of the law? Everyone must follow the law. Many documents influence the U.S. Constitution. Name one. Declaration of Independence. The Civil War had many important events. Name one. Emancipation Proclamation. Abraham Lincoln is famous for many things. Name one. Freed the slaves. What amendment gives citizenship to all persons born in the United States? Fourteenth Amendment When did all men get the right to vote? After the Civil War. Who is the governor of your state now? Andrew M. Como. What is the capital of your state? 
Albany. Why did the United States enter World War I? Because Germany attacked U.S. civilian ships. When did all women get the right to vote? 1920. What was the Great Depression? Longest economic recession in modern history. When did the Great Depression start? The Great Crash, 1929. During the Cold War, what was one main concern of the United States? Communism. Why did the United States enter the Korean War? To stop the spread of communism. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Apache. Name one example of an American innovation. Light bulb. How long did Supreme Court justices serve? For life. Supreme Court justices serve for life. Why? To be independent of politics. What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. Where is the Statue of Liberty? New York Harbor. Name two promises that new citizens make in the Oath of Allegiance. Give up loyalty to other countries. Defend the U.S. Constitution. How can people become United States citizens? Naturalize. Name one thing the U.S. Constitution does. Protects the rights of the people. The U.S. Constitution starts with the words, We the people. What does we the people mean? Self-government. Dwight Eisenhower is famous for many things. Name one. General during World War II. Who was the United States' main rival during the Cold War? Russia. Good luck for everyone on this exam.